from a more lived experience point of view, what has been the most uh, uh, telling moment of your mandate? I really think uh, the understanding of hunger and starvation, uh, truly. Uh, I, you know, I think that we talk about hunger, uh, we talk about malnutrition in a very, we can in a very detached kind of fashion. And you know, you have academic discussions about, you know, uh, do 200 million people sleep hungry, or it's 230 million? And what was your methodology? And you know, do you need 1600 calories, or do you need 1800 calories, or where should we have a cutoff? You know, these kinds of discussions, uh, but. Uh, the enormity of human suffering that is an avoidable human suffering that is associated with sleeping hungry. Uh, I mean, I, I recall one of the most heartbreaking conversations I've uh, ever had uh, was with a group of uh, Dalit low caste women uh, who were from a community which is very dispossessed. We were talking about different things, and when I was, and uh, they said that, you know, what is the most difficult thing that we have to teach our children? And uh, I said, what? And they said, it, it, it is the lesson of how to sleep hungry. And, uh, and then I, I, I have a daughter whom I love a lot. And I was wondering, wondering what life would have looked like to me if I had to teach this really terrible lesson. They said that we have to tell them that the rest of your life, there'll be five, ten days in a month where you won't have any food. And you need to get to understand how to do it. So I think the, the notion of the state being not just morally but legally responsible to ensure that this suffering comes to an end right. is something that, that to, to my mind, that is the most urgent and that, that's, that's what drives me.